Well, yesterday was a travel day. Um, we're in Virginia now. Got another thousand trails. It's called Harbor View up in Colonial Beach. And uh, let me show you our spot. It's nothing fancy, but um, we don't have neighbors on this side as of right now. And this is us, and we don't have neighbors on this side of us as of right now. I mean, even if they were there, they're not too close. And we're backed up to the woods there, so not a terrible spot. We're going to go out exploring today. I'm not sure what we're doing. Leslie is the cruise director, so I have to wait for her to come out to let us know what we're doing today. Hey, what are we doing today, man? What's lots the plan? Of, lots of stuff. We're gonna do a round robin, let's say. Okay. Things. Well, let's just keep it a surprise. Okay. We'll but how many, roughly how many things are we doing? Well, I have four stops. Okay. On my list of things to try. Is one of them Walmart? That's <laughs> four and that. Four and a Walmart. <laughs> there's always a Walmart stop. Everywhere we go, there's a Walmart stop. Four attractions. We should do um, Walmart reviews. Because we've been to every <laughs> single Walmart we've ever even been close to. At every that, campground we've ever been to. That is, that is yeah. true. We have. We could be a Walmart channel. No, let's not. <laughs> <laughs> let's not do that. All right, let's go. Wherever where we're going. Okay, first stop. All right. We are in downtown Fredericksburg. Yeah. And we are stopping at the home of Mary Washington, who is the mother of George Washington, our first president. It's quite a big house. This whole house over here on the right hand side is it. And it's just, it's in the middle of the of downtown. neighborhood. I mean, can you imagine like, eh, I live across the street from first president of the United States, mom. Well, she don't live here anymore, but. <laughs> There's definitely some interesting stuff during the tour, and they have some original pieces. Yeah, not much. A couple or, of things. Yeah, because some are in other museums. That's yeah, they've why. kind of borrowed those out to different places. They don't want to all be in one location. Um, the teapot was hers. Yeah. The mirror. The mirror on the wall, which was crazy. I I tried to film it. It's so like oxidized and yeah old. Well, yeah, that, it's hundreds of years old. But it's crazy to look into a mirror and go, man, the the mother of the first president of the United States this. looked into this mirror. And he, George Washington, probably looked into it at some point, too, because well, it was in his inherited. mother's house. Yeah. yeah, he inherited it. He bought this house for her. Yeah. He stayed here upstairs at some point. Um, we'll take you up there and show you real quick. Yeah. And we're upstairs now, and this is... The upstairs, this place isn't as big as what we originally thought it was. It's been added on to a lot. And uh, this is the loft over the top of the original house where Mary Washington lived. And when George Washington, her son, the first president of the United States, came to visit, this is where he would stay. So you're looking at the original room where the first president of the United States has slept and stayed before. So historically, that's really cool. Well, let's go over here and look at the uh, at the garden out here. And the guy who was doing the tour, he said he doesn't really know what this looked like when Mary lived here, but now it's beautiful out here. It's been um, restored by some society. I forget what they said. Yeah. The garden. garden Society of Fredericksburg or something, but it's beautiful out here. Some very interesting stuff yeah. on the tour. It's, it's interesting to go through this stuff. I'm a history guy. I like this stuff. But it just doesn't translate well to video. No. So I'm not going to just video him talking about the stuff. But there was some definitely some interesting stuff that he talked about. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, a family by the name of C Carter purchased the home afterwards. And you can see uh, up here where all this siding is and wood and all that stuff. And then you go down here where the brick is. And this area right here, this brick area, is the, is the original home. So... That would be the original stuff, not not this, not even this room. This room wasn't even part of the original. Just the front part of this was the original, but all of this is added on at a later date. So when we first walked in, I was like, wow, that's a big house for Mary Washington, but it really wasn't. It was really just a little spot with the upstairs spot that we showed you earlier. You know, another interesting thing is out in the garden, the little pillar that the sundial sits on yeah. was mined uh, from a a mine not too far from here yeah and that was 
gifted to the property, and but the actual sundial that sits on top was Some stolen, war. stolen Some during battle. the Civil War, and um, the same mine where this pillar came from is where they mined to get the stone to build the Capitol building, mm -hmm. Hill in Virginia, and the White House. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, and then um, a couple of George Washington's possessions are here too. Yeah, a couple of pieces of art that hang in the original yeah, House of Mary. Pieces. And uh, I don't know how much they're worth. They're probably worth a ton. But yeah. it was really cool to see something that was owned by George Washington. Yeah. Very cool. Though, I would like to see them in the original form because they're very dull. Now. Yeah, they're faded. They're, they're not old. vibrant colors. Yeah. So, so it would have been cool to see. I can't believe it's already been over two years since we yeah. had our RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. And our sleep has been great phenomenal it's been crazy life-changing sleep impacts your posture mm -hmm. your mood and your overall health yes and when it comes to that stuff you really don't want to rely on the plywood like mattresses <laughs> that come in rvs when you buy your rv brand new yeah so we have the aurora lux mm -hmm. from rv mattress with the cooling technology that keeps our bodies at a perfect 88 degree sleeping temperature yes and we also have their cooling pillows their bamboo cotton sheets and the weighted blanket we love it so much that we even got a mattress from my mom mm -hmm. and she's loving it too and she doesn't live in an rv exactly which goes to show you you don't have to live in an rv to buy an rv mattress from brooklyn bedding they're for everybody and they come in regular sizes or rv sizes an rv mattress by brooklyn bedding also offers you a 120 night sleep trial 10 year warranty and free shipping from their factory in arizona the best part of all of it is we can save you 25 percent all you have to do is click on the link in the description of this video, go over to RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding, and type in the promo code WAGS at checkout. Now we're going out to the kitchen now. This kitchen wasn't the original. The original kitchen was on the, uh, the far end over there. This was built by the owner after Mary Washington, but this is still one of the oldest freestanding kitchens in Fredericksburg, and it, it was I built in 1800. The last one. It might be the last yeah. one, yeah. So um, it's, still, it's still old, 1800. Yeah even though it was built here after Mary Washington lived here. And you can even see the staircase here that is boarded up. There used to be an upstairs up here too. Um, I don't know if you can see in the video, but the ceiling is sagging a little bit. I don't know if I had trust going upstairs. Maybe that's why they got it walled off because wow. the Unstable. floor might fall through if you try to go through there. But um, this is a really cool uh, representation of, of what it would be like. I'm assuming this would be considered a rather large kitchen. Well, yeah, and so they probably had um, several slaves that yeah. that worked in here, and they might have even lived upstairs. Uh, that could have been the slave slave quarters, because that was the time in our country's history where they they had slaves. In fact, um, it was interesting to me that Mary Washington, when her father passed away, and she was only three years old, she inherited three people. Yeah. She three inherited three enslaved people. So when she's three years old, she already owns three people and several hundred acres of land. Yeah. And um, it, it just kept going from there. I mean, when George Washington's father passed away, he left him 11 people. Mm -hmm. And he was, what, 13, 14 years old at the time, they 11, said? 11, I think. 11 years old. Yeah. So he's 11 years old. He owns 13 people. Yeah and several hundred acres of land also. So they just, it was just crazy. It's crazy to think about a time in our history where people owned people and even passed them down in their wills. I mean, like property, it's yeah. crazy. Can you tell what time it is? Yes, I can. What time is it? It's 11.53. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like it's almost lunchtime. It does. It's very specific, but. I looked at my watch to see if this Oh, was. yeah, so that's how you know what time it is. <laughs> well, I wanted to see just how I could. But, I mean, it doesn't, it can't tell you 53 minutes, obviously. Yeah, but it's, it's close to. It's got the little markings. It's but, close to yeah, noon. You could, it is. It is so close to yeah. noon. So it works properly. Yeah. If it's not overcast. Yes, if it's not overcast. <laughs> if, if it's a cloudy day, you're just not going to know what time. No. I hear you can see it from the other side, but... This whole thing is the house, but the original part that Mary Washington lived in was from this door this way and just a little loft over top. That was it. That was the whole house. The Carters added on all that. 
All right, now we're headed over to the James Monroe Presidential Library Museum. Yep. And there's a random otter. With a QR code. On the street. What's this little dude doing? I don't know. Ohana. That's weird. Um, all right, that's random. <laughs> Let's go into the uh, museum. It told us to enter around the garden gate to get in here. Oh, there's a cemetery out there too. Wow. I wonder who's all is buried in here. Leslie has to stand on the <laughs> thing because she's too short to see over the wall. I won't be able to see anything. If I don't. I'm sure there's some old, old graves in there, man. Yeah. I wonder if they let you walk around in there. Tell me something about President James Monroe that you know. I only know one thing about him. What's that? He was the fifth president. He was the fifth president of the United know States. No, because I learned a song in elementary school. Oh, sing it. No, I'm not singing it. I sang it at lunch, but I'm not singing <laughs> But they teach you a song, at least in, in my school, they taught you a song to memorize I didn't get the, the song. president. To this day, I can only remember the song up to five, and that's how I know he's the fifth, because my song ends with him. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll tell you one thing that I know. Yeah? He was the last president of the Founding Fathers. That's cool. So, after that, it was, well, I mean... Mathematically, the founding fathers start dying off and getting old. Oh, yeah. Somebody else has to take over. Yeah, so Monroe was the last of those. Okay. And he was the fifth president. That's really all we know. Yeah. So it, this is going to be a lot of fun. And interesting and Compared, educational. I mean, all the all the presidential lives we've been to have been great, but not knowing anything about the man, his yeah. life. Sure. We will share some stuff with you, and hopefully, yeah. we will tell you some stuff about President Monroe that you never knew. Yeah. And don't say you knew, because you probably. <laughs> Alright, here's a bunch of stuff I didn't know. Mm -hmm. And you probably didn't know. No. And y'all probably didn't know. He held so many offices. He was uh, Congress, Senate, he was the Ambassador of France, he was the Governor of Virginia, he was a Minister of France, Spain, and England, he was in the Virginia Assembly, he was the Secretary of State. He was the Secretary of War, and he was the President of the United States. Wow. That's just, that's not all of them. There's other little unofficial things that he did, too. Like, he was the Board of Visitors for the University of Virginia, the President of the Virginia Constitutional Convention, um, all kinds of stuff. He said he held nearly every public office available in, in his time. It's insane. That's impressive. I had no idea he did all that. Yeah. This is a pretty historical desk. This is where the Monroe Doctrine was written. A little placard over here says that there's also a secret compartment inside of this desk where some letters were found that were written between Monroe and Jefferson and Madison, but they weren't found until the 20th century, so it was, it was a while after they got this desk that uh, they even found those letters. So where's the hidden... Yeah, I'll tell you where. I don't know. Hidden spot is. But that's it's pretty cool that that's huh. a very historical document and it was written right here. This place is full of old stuff like this. These chairs are from a, a complete set. This is the original paint, the original upholstery. I mean, you can see the details in the in the armchairs and uh, the inlays and the, all the detail. This is made in the United States but copied by. French design, but the other, the rest of the set is still in the White House today. So this place is just full of little cool stuff like that. Oh yeah, we got some Missouri history. <laughs> so this is a uh, what is this called? It's it's boss relief. Yeah. I guess this is a this is what they made to uh, to make the the big brass a sculpture. Yeah. Which is now in the Missouri. State Capitol. Yes. And this is uh, James Monroe, Robert Livingston, and Francis Barb Marboise. 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 Signing the Louisiana Purchase Treaty. Which, I, that's another thing I didn't know. I didn't know that James Monroe signed, signed the uh, Louisiana Purchase Treaty. All right, Leslie's got something interesting about this mirror, which you can see her reflection in it right now. And by the way, James Monroe's reflection was once seen in this mirror. <laughs> and it's the second famous mirror we've seen today. Yeah. 
it's not really about the mirror itself. It's talking about the the dome on there mm -hmm. and how it's different than what it is today, you know. But I found it interesting in here that it said, um, where did it start? Oh, it says he continued the tradition of serving two terms as a president. Mm -hmm. And it says in the 1824 election, he remained aloof and did not choose a favorite. A bitter race ensued. Since there was no majority vote, the decision went to the House of Representatives. And they elected John Quincy Adams, even though Andrew Jackson had more votes. Hmm. Outraged Jackson, Jackson supporters accused Adams and Henry Clay of corrupt bargain. So the government was corrupt way before From the beginning. we got to it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this led to the official formation of the Democratic Party. Oh, wow. Which Jackson was its leader. Thanks. <laughs> I find Did I say that out loud? <laughs> yeah. That is very interesting. That is very interesting. But, I did not know that. Yeah. But, I mean, the government's been corrupt since day one. That's just the facts. There he is. <laughs> There's old James Monroe. I, I learned a bunch today, man. I learned a lot of yeah. stuff about Monroe. He was a farmer. He was a soldier. He was a statesman. We Warrior. already talked about all the, the positions, positions that he yeah. held, the government positions that he held, all the way up to president and... Man, it's crazy. And I didn't even realize it, but we've been to his grave. We, Yes, we have. Because we went to the Hollywood Cemetery in Richmond, Virginia, a few years back. And we, the purpose that we There's went there... There's two presidents there, I believe. Yeah. Um, well, um, Jefferson Davis, yeah. Yeah. the president of the Confederacy, is buried there. And that, that was one of the reasons we went to that that cemetery was to see that. And we didn't know at the time that President Monroe was buried there. So yeah. um, it was very, very, very cool. cool to see. It's very elaborate. Yes. And so he died when he was visiting his daughter mm -hmm. in New York. And uh, they said he had um, influenza. influenza and tuberculosis. So back then, tuberculosis was a big deal. And he was getting older at that point. And, but he, man, he did a lot of the Monroe Doctorate, the, the Declaration of Independence, one of the Founding Fathers, um, the Louisiana Purchase. I mean, this so he's dude, a lawyer, so he knew stuff. He's, he knew he's, how to write things up. <laughs> we should have known more about him have. because he's an important part of our country's history. Yeah. So we definitely we got to do better. Yeah, it's kind of I guess it's kind of like how we honor soldiers because they say say their name, keep their memory alive. Yeah. We don't say enough about him to keep his memory alive. That's true. We talk about specific ones. Yeah. So much, but we overlook some of the others and I guess you know it's a it's a product of our upbringing too yeah. you know in in school they didn't really talk much about Monroe not that I remember anyway yeah so they don't make it a point I mean they don't emphasize a, yeah a no. I mean, everybody talks about Washington and Jefferson and Lincoln. Adams and Lincoln yeah, yeah I mean but, but not really so much Monroe and but the I ones think, that left bad marks you know, yeah I, I think Monroe is probably one of the most underrated <laughs> yeah. presidents that, that I know of I, mean, I don't want to say he was lucky because his parents died when he was young. Yeah. And, but he then was taken in by his uncle, who he saw as a father figure anyway. Yeah. Who was a lawyer. So really gave him yeah. his start of what. Yeah, had his, his parents not to. died young, he who might have just knows? been a farmer. Yeah, you don't forever. know that he would have gone into law. Yeah. You know, and started his own practice. And, and you know, being a soldier, he fought with. Uh, President Washington mm -hmm. during the Revolutionary War against the British, all that stuff. Thank you for your service, sir. Appreciate you. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we got a couple more things to do around this area, but we're running out of time in this video, so we're going to yeah. save that for another time. But, um, man, if you have a chance to come out here to Fredericksburg and come to the Monroe Museum, learn more about President Monroe, definitely it, do it. It's small, but it packs a punch. It does. It is worth it. I mean, it's like ten dollars to get in. It's nothing big. Not much. It's so worth it though. And Mary Washington's house, same thing. It was like eight bucks a person to get in there. Yeah. Very interesting. Um, the tour was great. Yeah. And um, it was just a fun day. Yeah. Learning history. That's right. But hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. Mm -hmm. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.